Hello and welcome to the August edition of Made in Lincoln UK. This is a social interactive documentary video magazine program reflecting and promoting Lincoln District life and events. Hi, I'm Nora Marshall. Um, I'm here to, uh, we're ex exhibiting a uh, exhibition of um, past and present William Farr students um, showing off the A-level work and now the semi-professional artists who have gone on to leave school and pre now presenting their own work. Um, this is Daniel Valentine and uh, it's a portrait of his cousin um, using oil paint and it was done for his a2 final exam piece. Again this is a piece by Daniel Valentine um, using oil paint once again um, and it's a portrait of a year 12 student at William Farr School. Um, this is a textiles final piece by Tomalola Ola Saeed. Um, her topic was floral designs um, and she's basically sewn onto um, photographs of um, like segregation kind of things in America. So it's a copy of a freedom chant. Um, this is a portrait of one of the teachers at William Farr School who's been there for a very long time. Um, and it's by Alex Hilton using oil paint mixed with charcoal. This is um, a portrait made using uh, coffee. So it's a coffee stain piece by Amy Tillery. Okay, so this was my own um, A2 level final piece. Um, it's basically showing the different patterns and textures of an aerial landscape. So each circle represents a different landscape with all the different colours and all the kind of designs that you'd see from an aerial view. Okay, so these ones are by Hannah Van Bergen. Um, they are made using acrylic and spray paint on a canvas. Um, she is now a semi-professional artist, having left school to go on to now do this for a career. This, this piece is by Hannah Jones and it's a mixed media piece of her mum with the portrait in the middle with Polaroid style pictures around the outside and she did it for her A2 exam. This is a piece by Jade Straker and it's a mixed media painting of the sea and all the different textures and this is one of her A-level course worksheets. This one is by Emma, Amy Tillery and it's called Sister with Coffee and it'll be another A-level course worksheet of hers. This is a textiles exam piece by Eleanor Price. Um, the skirt itself is made out of wallpaper and then the big circle like thing <laughs> is made of mixed media. Uh, I'm Marguerite Sherry and this is my A2 piece for textiles. It is about um, film and the film industry and each, diff each section of the dress represents a different aspect to it. So the wire skirt for example would represent um, special effects and lighting. These are by Rebecca Lockley and they are um, ceramic and glaze dishes and vases with um, different patterns and styles on them. This is a textiles piece by Sophie Dolling um, with a subject of combat and it's made out of many different materials. 
This is a piece by Emily Bridgewood um, and it's a study of a bike, uh, an old fashioned bike, um, and it's made from mixed media on a board. Hi, I'm Eleni. I'm part of the Action N2 community group and today we're here to celebrate local music and bring the community get together. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hill below us. Above us on the sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Ah, ah. Imagine no possessions. I wonder if you can. Nothing to kill or die for. A brotherhood of man. Imagine all the people sharing all the world. Ah, ah. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us, and the world will let us on. from Lincolnshire's Army Cadet Force and we're here supporting Action LN2 at our big gig in the Arboretum in Lincoln. And uh, we are recruiting for uh, cadets, so if you want to come along, visit us at www.armycadetforce.com for more information or you can come and visit us at Sabron Barracks on Burton Road on Wednesday nights from 7pm until 9pm. If you're in year 8 at school and you're 12 years old, all the way right through to 18, then do come along and come and join us.
quelque chose de très difficile, je trouve. On the 3rd of June, it was full house in the community hall at Nettleham Village, as the villagers rejected plans for 200 new houses to be built in the village. There are three designated sites for building in, within Nettleham. Alison Holmes are putting forward a proposal for 50 houses to be built just off Deepdale Lane. In July, Alison Holmes organised a charm offensive for the people of Nettleham to meet with them and to show us the proposed plans. Hello, I'm Mark Croker. I work for Alison Holmes. I'm the architect, and uh, this is our scheme for the scheme we've got in Nettleham on the southern edge of the development. We've been working with the Parish Council on the project for an, uh, quite a number of months on this one. This is the latest scheme that we're presenting to the local area as um, our development. Um, we've got a new access uh, proposed off uh, Deep Down Lane. Uh, the scheme uh, allows for 50 units and uh, some extra care facilities. We've got some existing open space on the development which takes care of an area of uh, um, Ridge and Furrow on the site. And the, on the existing edge of the development, we are putting some bungalows so that uh, the, we are reflecting the existing bungalows on Deepdale Lane. We have attenuation area on the scheme as well, where at the lowest point of the development, uh, which takes care of the surface water attenuation. The outcome of the various developers wanting to build more houses in Nettleham is still ongoing as the procedure has not been concluded yet. So let's wait and see. My name is Andrew Fletcher, I've come from East Sussex for the weekend at the Asylum 2011. It's my first visit and I'm enjoying it very much. Everybody at the Asylum has been really, really kind. So many costumes, so many different aspects and takes on the concept. And it's one of those things that leaves you speechless because there is no way you can describe how wonderfully rubbish it is. I'm creative. Oh yes, and, crea and creative. I mean, I I've gone with things that are, are, are very simple to put together. I've literally just shoved things on or things I've just found. Um, but if you look around, there are people who have made their own weaponry, their own, co their own bits of costumes, and you can see the detail and the effort they've put into it. It's really quite something. I would, I would really recommend to anybody, anybody who has an interest in steampunk to um, come along to this event. Hi there, Hello. I'm Sam Stone and this is David J. Howe. I'm David J. Howe from Telos Publishing um, and we publish all sorts of books and this is Sam Stone. I'm author of the Vampire Gene series and Zombies at Tiffany's which I'm launching here at Asylum this weekend. And we're having a fabulous time, although it is a little bit warm. Yes, but, it's very um, warm, but very exciting. We're having a great time, and um, we hope to see everyone along here later on. My name is Carol, and I'm from Schaumburg, Illinois, United States. Indeed, I have, and I'm so excited and thrilled to be here. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> have a good day. Thank you.
Good morning, my name is Madame Hypatia Tetractis and I'm here with my partner Major Jack Squares and we are presenting the Steampunk Tarot, Gods of the Machine. As you can see we come from a different world, we come from the Imperium and the world of the Imperium is made up of four wondrous leagues and we have a passport which we can take you there to by means of our cards. As you can see, we can give you some good advice. We can help you think more clearly. We can also host all kinds of recreational gatherings and reports and take you back through time. This is our job as members of the Imperium Ambassadry and we are here with our consulate in order to bring goodwill to all people of this world. Many blessings. specifically to this weekend which is apparently the biggest steampunk or which I learned only about three or four weeks ago so I bought the last ticket for uh, perhaps maybe 20s or 19s last ticket and I came and I wasn't aware of all the culture here but now I'm so fascinated and now I know what to wear next time yes so it will be much more sophisticated Thank you very much. I kind of I looked at the pictures on the internet, of course, and I, I did my uh, research a little bit. But next year it will be more color and more jewelry. I want to buy this fantastic jewelry they produce. So I understand it's a new culture, but I feel so at home here. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Next year I will be absolutely fabulous with all the plumage and all this fantastic jewelry. But thank you, yes. I did my best to dress up for this event. And I have this fantastic cape, which is actually, it is a Victorian one. But I want to move more sophisticated and maybe artistic jewelry and outfits next time when I come. <laughs> Well, there we go. That wraps it up for this edition. Now, remember, this is your video platform. If you have any ideas or topics or issues that you feel would be of interest to the people throughout the Lincoln District, then get in touch with me and I'll put it in the big picture. <laughs>